Rangers FC have been stopped from hosting a fan zone at the Ibrox Football Center next month. Fans were told 2,000 people would be allowed to enter the pitch before and after the Gers' next home game on August 11 when they take on St. Mirren. Fearing it would stop kids playing at the center, community council bosses then objected to the fan zone. Councillor Stephen Dornan doesn't want to see kids' pitches being taken away, image, Glasgow City Council, Govan Councillor Stephen Dornan told the Evening Times, the community council took a vote and they decided to retain their opposition to the fan zone. My concern is that these matches are controlled by the likes of Sky Sports. If you look at the football schedules the pitch would never be available for kids' football ever again. Rangers should be investing in youth football in the area. They shouldn't be trying to replace it with burgers and booze. I can't sit back and watch a kids' football pitch being taken away like that. Activities for youngsters and a legend's queue. Glasgow Life own the pitch in question. Rangers are set to take on St. Mirren on August 11. Image, SNS Group, a spokesperson said, following a licensing objection from Ibrox and Cessna Community Council, Glasgow Life has communicated to all involved parties that no Rangers family fan zones will take place in our Ibrox football complex while the objection is still in place. A Rangers FC spokeswoman at the time the fan zone was announced said, Rangers are delighted to announce that for the first home game of the coming season, Rangers v St. Mirren on Saturday, August 11, a new fan zone will be created at the Ibrox Football Center directly opposite the iconic Bill Struth main stand entrance. This area will be significantly larger than the current test site and will create a new family-friendly environment where supporters can gather before and after the game to participate in a variety of activities, meet ex-Rangers players, listen to live music and enjoy a range of food.